impressive. Now, saving as a multi-body part is a great way to remove unnecessary detail, and SOLIDWORKS 2019 gives you much more control. You can now decide which components are included using this handy slider bar, or by specifying a component's individual bounding box. Toolbox components can also be excluded in one hit, and this drop-down lets you visualise which components are either included or excluded. To remove any downstream errors, the original mass properties can be transferred straight through to the resulting part. And it gets better. You can now run interference checking within multi-body parts. This enables the valuable insight lots of you have been demanding. And while we're talking about insight, take a look at the new external references dialog. It is now much easier to find and visualise references with intuitive cross-highlighting and the ability to isolate reference components. Another bonus is the ability to break or lock references on a feature-by-feature -feature basis, not just at the part level. And check this out, dynamic references in the Feature Manager let you break or lock external references with a single click, far more intuitive. And now for something completely different. SOLIDWORKS Visualize is already a class-leading tool to get poster quality imagery and videos. Now, thanks to artificial intelligence from NVIDIA, that process is dramatically faster using the new Denoiser tool. Visualize uses machine learning to anticipate and eliminate the noise in the scene, the small areas you usually have to wait ages to resolve. What does this mean? Well, you can expect the same high quality results around 10 times faster. Yes, 10 times. And check out these other images when using the new Denoiser, all completed much, much faster. And that is what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2019. Cut! It's perfect. That's exactly what I've been looking for. It's good. But what if we use the mask? Feel the power of SOLIDWORKS. Wow, you gave me chills. Scary, right? It's scary to think you're still cashing in on that performance after two years. It's pathetic. Hey, big boy, there's a fan to meet you. <laughs> oh my gosh, Chesney, it's really you. I can't even believe it. I am such a big Man City fan. Blue moon, you saw me standing alone. That is fine, and all the ribs were modeled, and it's ready for mold creation. But Mark, you said you wanted to rapidly experiment with designs, and it takes time to model those ribs. There are 19 features there. Come on, Jeremy, I said focus. Check this out. I've created some configurations with alternate grip patterns. One has bumps, one has dimples, and one even has the Mako logo. But Mark, uh, this is easy in Solar 2019. Check this out. I can simply apply an appearance onto a part or face, then size and orient it to my liking. After I'm happy with the appearance, I can use the new Texturized Bodies command to turn that appearance into mesh geometry. The lighter the color in the appearance, the farther the offset from the base gets, and there are controls for mesh size and refinement. You can even invert the texture to make a dimple effect. Hit OK, and a mesh body is created that's ready for 3D printing. Man, you were right. That's super fast and easy. Let's see how it looks in the assembly. Yeah, that's what I'm after. Now I can use the new 3D Experience Make service that John Paulo mentioned earlier to get my new grips printed. But I'm not done. I suspect there's an interference between the handle and the throttle cable. I'll run a quick interference detection to see if I'm right. Aha, just as expected. Mark, wouldn't it be great if you could just create a partial <laughs> chamfer in Wait, the... I can use a new partial chamfer tool in SOLIDWORKS 2019 to remove just the right amount of material to eliminate the interference. There are controls for distance, percentage, or reference offset. Or what's even easier, I can just drag the handles to the desired location and it works for fillets just as well. There you have it. No more interference. Wow, Mark. With a new partial chamber capability, 3D textures in SOLIDWORKS 2019, you're sure to drive them crazy for next year's model mania. See, this is why I don't have time for this right now. This is such a cool new feature. Why don't you use this for your what's new demo? Shh. Wait a minute. Such a mobile device, you can use a Microsoft Surface dial to pan, zoom, and rotate your model. Place the dial directly on the screen, then press and hold, and the tools appear graphically at your fingertips, directly on the digital table. The dial keeps you completely in touch with your design at all times. Wow, that's a really exciting and immersive way of interacting with SOLIDWORKS using touch mode. Very nice. What else have you done for us? 
One of my favourite features introduced in SOLIDWORKS 2018 is the ability to quickly capture new design ideas sketching with a pen or stylus. Now in SOLIDWORKS 2019, your hand sketch shapes can be automatically converted into splines, making it even easier to achieve any shape you desire. That's awesome, but not everyone's an industrial designer though. Very true. Remember, gesture sketching already provides a quick and easy way to create prismatic designs. Now in addition to lines, arcs and circles, hand-drawn slot shapes are recognised and converted into slot sketch entities. That's really neat. These new enhancements will help customers adopt this exciting new approach to sketching, no matter what geometry they're creating. Finished yet? I'm not finished just yet, Jan. If you ever wanted to jot notes down directly onto your model, well now using a touch device, you can digitally mark up your design using a pen or stylus. First, choose a style then simply draw or write on the screen. When finished, markups are saved with the model, enabling you to easily capture and share your ideas with other members of your organisation. Fantastic. That's going to make communication so much better. Mark, what are you doing with the crazy looking backpack in a headset? Yeah, my friend. At any time, you can now bring your products to life and fully immerse yourself inside your design using the latest virtual reality technology. Visually check form and fit to gain valuable insight into ergonomic performance. The result is a unique interactive experience that's often impossible to achieve without building physical prototypes. Well, what do you think? The demo was phenomenal, but the acting was terrible.